Yo, Mike here, uh, coming to you guys from the sunny Tauranga city at the moment. Um, I'm out for a 24-7 youth gathering, um, which, so 24-7 is Christian youth workers in schools, um, and this is the Waikato gathering. So I look forward to, uh, yeah, to hearing what they're up to and, and hearing some cool stories of how God's moving, moving in the schools around our area. Um, so anyway, just coming to you with the weekly thought. Um, last week we were looking at Genesis and we saw over and over again how much the story of Jesus and the existence of Jesus was long before he came to earth and it was also over and over again, thousands of years before, before he even came. There's stuff right through it that just, that just shadows and reflects and, and, and prophesies the, the coming of Jesus. Um, and as we jumped through, we finished off at the point where, where Abraham, God had asked Abraham to sacrifice his son. And just before Abraham was about to take his son's life, um, at the request of God, God stopped him and provided a goat in its place. Um, and that's the start of the theme of, of this week's thing, is... is there's this theme that starts to set in place and God set it in place, this, this metaphor, this image, this picture of for, to make something clean. Um, when, when we have done wrong, when, when evil has entered the world, um, blood needs to be spilled to clean that um, and a sacrifice needs to happen. And, and it's not something that we do nowadays because it's it's such a foreign idea. Um, but that that was that was all a picture of what Jesus was going to do. And so as we step into the story of 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 the Israelites, the people of God, so Abraham's family, um, as we follow the family, we see them moving into Egypt, um, coming into slavery, and and an incredible story of how God rescued them out of slavery and in that story we see the start of of the tradition of the uh, of the people um, and we're gonna watch a cool video that kind of sums up really well the how, how important how important the tradition was and how much it it, it cleaned people and made them made them able to connect with God um, but the problem was that even though they were able to connect with God, um, they were made right because of their sacrifices. Um, they weren't changed in the heart. And, and if this stuff doesn't change us at a heart level, if it just connects with our heads, um, we're, we find ourselves at times maybe living no better off than the way the way the, the family of, of God lived back then where where they were made right, they were made clean through their sacrifice, but then they still they still weren't loving their neighbour, they still weren't helping people out, they still weren't lifting the oppressed. Um, and so God then says to them, It's not your sacrifices. He says your sacrifices that they're, they're actually repulsive to me because what I'm looking for is a clean heart, a clean and pure heart. Um, and so, so for us, even even though we find ourselves saved through Jesus, Jesus has died once and for all. Um, he did that so that we could have a clean heart, so that He could connect with us. Um, so we're going to chat chat a bit more about that tonight. Um, we've got got some cool games coming up we're going to play a game called Irish Snap which is not just a card game it involves a lot of action and if you know it I hope you're going to, you're looking forward to it because I am um, and yeah let's just let's just get into some good fun tonight and oh tomorrow night actually so yeah look forward to seeing you guys then and I'll get back to focusing on driving cool catch you later